Message received July 27, 2020. A great and formidable enemy seeks to enter into the very blood of my children, through the altering of your DNA. Because of the curse that came about after the fall of the first man Adam, I came to make a way for you. You are renewed and made clean again by your belief and salvation in me, your King and Messiah, sent by my Father to redeem you by my blood sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Only through me the door, corruptible is made incorruptible, unredeemable made redeemable. I have ransomed you in order to bring creation back to its creator. The creator your was made flesh to overcome death, hell, and the grave, and to take what was tainted and impure and make it whole again. The spiritual battle that is raging now is ultimately to strip you of the divine image of myself that has been placed within the DNA of my creation. Ask me for more wisdom and revelation about this and it will be given to you. The veil was torn, access granted when I shed my blood, died and rose again. We have created you in our image, and when you walk in holiness, righteousness and purity, obeying my commandments, I am enthroned on your heart. You are then transformed in body, soul and spirit. When this transformation occurs, the very frequency of your cells then resonates with me and raises you closer to your creator and further away from the lower realm and lower frequencies which keep you bound. This is by design, and when indwelled, my Holy Spirit will be the gatekeeper of your heart, and your entire being, my sanctuary, and the place where I reside in you. When this occurs, my kingdom is on earth, as it is in heaven. It is then that I am able to provide victory over the curse for you, preserving the divine design I have placed within your DNA. There are many layers of revelation to know what is coded there and hidden, secrets to be revealed to only those who overcome. However, if the gates are breached by sin, lack of obedience, compromise, or lukewarmness, the enemy sets up thrones, strongholds, instead of me, because my laws, my word have not been written on your hearts. You have a sworn enemy whose utter mission is to destroy you. He will stop at nothing, and as my word has foretold, the time is here when the greatest of all violence and evil against my people, those made in my image, is taking place. The battle is for the soul, and the battle is about the blood. Satan's ultimate goal from the beginning was to corrupt the seed corrupt the blood that carries my blueprint in you, my design for those made in our image, your DNA. There is only one way to ensure that my throne is upon your heart and your eternal destination is sealed, or your soul will be lost forever. You must be born again. Your heart must be sealed with my blood. You must be quick to repent often and seek holiness above all else. Love what is true and just. Be extremely careful what your eyes see and your ears hear. This is guarding your heart, guarding its gate. It is in sealing these portals to the soul, in commanding the spirit to govern or have mastery over the soul, that you overcome. You will then be prepared for my return, and be protected from the evil one. If you have not already done so, seal the portals to the enemy now. Confess your sins and repent for the midnight hour is here. Bind the access points that have given Satan legal rights within your temples, within your body, mind, soul and spirit. Give Satan and all his dark kingdom a certificate of divorce and be free from the bondage, and from all the oppression and possession in your bloodline immediately. Break the curse from your ancestors back to Adam. Cover it all with my blood and command the enemy out of your bloodline, sealing it as well, the gates to your heart using the authority you have been given through me. Exercise dominion as a gatekeeper and a son or daughter of the Most High God, taking your positions as heirs to my kingdom. My Holy Spirit will then have permission to use you for my glory and manifest through you in this crucial hour, this must be done this moment. This is crucial. Precious moments remain before the implementation of the enemy's plan to destroy the DNA of my creation, making you forever unredeemable. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and it must be taken by force. Take my holy word and dispossess what has had control of your gateways and that of your family line through covenants, oaths, soul trades and agreements made by your ancestors. Do it this moment. In me you will be made free.
the implementation of the plans to alter your DNA and the make it programmable by something other than me, your creator, are here. I control and govern the DNA I have placed within you, but if you allow man to administer anything within your bodies, that will recode your DNA, I will no longer be the controller. I will no longer recognize you as my creation. You will have become a mixture of something else, an altered form of man and technology, and therefore, not in my image any longer. Do you understand what I am saying? Truly the hour is here when you must prepare to make the choice to remain fully human, infused with my spirit. The enemy wants nothing more than to deceive you through propaganda, fear and manipulation and cause you to allow either a mark or an implant into your bodies that will forever separate you from me. This is your reality right now. You must know what you will choose to do. When you open doors to the enemy through sin and through your choices in life outside of my ways, the demonic spirits appoint gatekeepers over your heart, your mind, and your soul. Then those spirits invite more, and when no repentance occurs, strongholds occur. The heart of an unregenerate man is wicked and deceitful above all things. But my word is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing a part of your soul and spirit, your joints and marrow, as I discern the thoughts and intentions of your heart. Allow me to write my laws on your heart and you will know truth at last. You will know what is now directly in front of you and the choices that are here for you and your loved ones. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, but it does not have to be this way. Allow my glory to penetrate your spirit so that your soul will come under submission. To not allow this, means you will remain in bondage and you will be easily deceived. If I do not dwell in you fully, and your gates have been breached, another will easily influence you and take governance. My people, I have given you the keys to the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever is loosed on earth will be loosed in heaven. Bind the strong man, bind the strongholds on your life and be delivered. The technology for the mark of the beast is here. It is upon you. It will be presented at first to be taken voluntarily, then very soon after, you will not be able to buy, sell or work. Do not wait another moment. Come out of Babylon and make me king of your heart, the divine gatekeeper of your soul. The evil ones have set in motion their wicked schemes, as it must be so according to my word. Many, many judgments will occur as I allow them. This is to wake up my church. You must know where you stand in your walk with me, because in an instant, everything will change, and there will not be another opportunity to choose, because the choice will be made for you. You are either all in, or I am turning you over to your carnal mind and nature. You have the choice my loves, choose life and eternity in me over eternal death in darkness. The time is now, Yeshua.